Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, my name is Kat. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a time lapse of the 2000 piece Seiko, a perfect holiday puzzle. This image is absolutely adorable if you love cats like we do. So without further ado, let's get on with the time lapse. So what did we think about this puzzle? It actually wasn't that hard. It only took us three nights to do, which is pretty good for us with a 2,000 piece puzzle. 2,000 pieces usually take us about a week, but since there was so many different sections and you could really sort this one out extremely well, it did not take us long at all. So that was super nice because I was doing this during final weeks, so I was able to kind of get this puzzle done rather quickly and not worrying about doing my studying for my finals so that was extremely nice 
the pieces I'm going to get into that later, but did not stick together at all. So that was a complaint that we did have, but overall we really enjoyed the image and it was a great puzzle to pick up and do to start out our Christmas holiday. The image is absolutely adorable. There are so many different cat things on here. The cat nutcracker. There's a license plate up here that said loves to purse. Um, and then there's little cat books all around. It is just such a cute and well thought out image that I honestly wish and they might actually have a dog one of this. And if they do, I definitely would want to pick it up because we really did enjoy doing the cat one. So here is a big section of the puzzle picked up and as you can see the pieces just fall straight out of my hand and fall apart. So as you can see in this video just how flimsy these pieces are. They just don't stay connected at all and really kind of stay in the spot that they're supposed to be in. So that did make it quite challenging. So here I am attempting to put this big section back together after I took it apart. And as you can see, I couldn't even pick it up. I had to go through and put pieces in one by one. And it was just quite annoying to have to do this. Usually I can just put the pieces in the section right back. But I had to figure out where these pieces went again. And I had to try to get them to all stick together. So it was quite challenging for me to do. Something that I was rather disappointed with that we have never had happen to us is the borders were cut uneven. I don't know if we just got a bad puzzle or if that is something that has been kind of regular with Seiko. We've, like I said, never had that problem. We have loved doing Seiko puzzles, but this one was just off a little bit. This is a 2021 puzzle, so I don't know if it was just rushed out or if we just got kind of the runt of the group. I'm not really sure, but I did want to mention that there was one on the bottom and one on the top but it did not affect how the puzzle fit at all the only thing that it did affect was the look of the puzzle but that didn't bother us at all so here is the puzzle dust and there is not a whole lot for 2000 piece so that's pretty good so on my hardness scale, what would I give this? I would give this a 4 out of 10. The actual image was not hard at all. The hardest part was doing the poinsettias and also once you finish the border, the border wasn't that hard to do, but it was just filling in the border in between the actual image that was quite challenging because there's so many stars on there, so many trees on there. There's so many of the same things that you just have to sit there and just repeatedly try pieces. So that was definitely hard, but I don't think it deserved higher than a four because the image was rather easy. So the big question, will we be doing this puzzle again? The answer is actually no, we are not going to. And that's probably rather shocking for you. And it kind of was for us too, because we really did enjoy the image. The only reason why that we are going to be getting rid of it is because our table, we have a different table that we kind of like made. So we have a car table and then we have a small kind of like side table that my parents made so we could do these 2000 piece puzzles. Since the pieces did not stick well out all together, it was extremely hard to do with just our setup. And that is the only reason why we are going to be selling it. We don't necessarily have the room and it's kind of really hard to film with one of the big kind of party white tables. So that is why we are going to be getting rid of this one. Like like I said, if we definitely had the space for it, we would definitely be doing this one again. This one is already up on our Macari if you are interested in it. Our Macari is Ings1234. So go over and head over there and get this puzzle if you are definitely interested in it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our future Christmas puzzle content and also our future puzzle content after Christmas. We are going to be doing 12 Days of Christmas. It starts next week, which I'm so excited about. We have some awesome puzzles set up for you guys. I'm also going to try to post kind of behind the scene pictures and videos on our Instagram story. So make sure that you head over to our Instagram, which is Puzzling It Through Life. So so you can stay up to date and kind of get some sneak peeks on what Christmas puzzles we are going to be doing for 12 days of puzzles. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next week video. Bye!